Hey, it's Tanya Sanders from the Chatty Mama with another Stop and Smell the Roses hosted by Mandy Rose from the House of Rose blog. And uh, this week I want to share what I am most thankful for and that is a blog post that I just recently wrote that has been well received and um, this blog post for me was really personal. It was about my pregnancies and I've had two really rough pregnancies that were very, very hard and um, I dealt with a, a disease called hyperemesis which uh, affects about 1 in 500 women. And um, so basically, uh, living through that experience, I harbored a lot of anger and a lot of fear. Uh, I, I vowed to never ever have another baby because uh, dealing with high premises, uh, basically you think you're going to die every day. It's almost like you're going to die every day because you are so sick. You know, hyper is uh, extreme, emesis is vomiting. I couldn't hold down water, I couldn't hold down a meal, and I was hospitalized um, and on bed rest for seven months. So um, just the whole experience was really hard for me. And so I wrote a letter to hyper emesis and um, just kind of shared from my heart. I just was basically was planning on having another baby um, because I kind of like to have them three years apart and um, right now would be the time that I would be pregnant and so just dealing with that anger of not uh, deciding to get pregnant um, I just wanted to write that letter and uh, and it just be a really heartfelt thing to tell hyperemesis that you know I don't fear you anymore and um, and I've decided and my husband has decided that you know what if we want to have another baby we will have another baby um, if we suffer from hyperemesis again um, we're going to get, we're going to deal with it, you know, we're going to get through it, but, uh, just being able to come to, to terms with that, uh, you have to be able to do that in order to even want to get pregnant again, um, to go through that experience. But anyways, um, the whole point of, of why I'm thankful this week is, um, just writing the blog post and being able to share my message of hyperemesis with other people and uh, other women say to me, oh my God, I didn't know about this disease and thank you for sharing. Or some women saying, you know, I know somebody that had this and, and I'm sorry for you that you had it too. Uh, it's just about getting the word out there and letting people know that this is something that happens. It's not something that you're taught or that you're told, that, you know, this may happen to you. Nobody's ever going to tell you that, you know. And so when it does happen, it's a shock and it's very painful and it's very emotional. Uh, emotional and um, it's, it's a really hard thing to deal with. So anyways, I'm just excited that people have stopped by that post, have uh, written me words of encouragement about even having a third baby and um, also um, I'm, I'm just, I feel really blessed to have been able to kind of share. It's, it's a really hard thing. After I wrote the post, immediately as I read it to my husband, like I was in tears, I was bawling, um, just it's it's a very very hard thing it's something hard to talk about it's something that's hard to deal with um and just being able to like move past it you know it's hard too because i feel like if i do decide to have another child i may have to go through it all over again so anyways i am working through all that and my fears are gone uh if it happens it happens um but i have a different plan you know i'm gonna face it head on so anyways i'm excited and um very thankful that people were able to hear me and know what I went through and I do plan on doing another post a little bit more in depth about hyperemesis just to educate other people a little bit more about it but I um, am just so excited that that the post went as well as it did you know you're always nervous when you write a post are people gonna uh, appreciate it or are people gonna be like oh that's dumb you know but it's my blog I get to do whatever I want to do but at the same time I still you know it, it's I write to you. So, anyways, thank you so much for stopping by again for Stop and Smell the Roses. I hope that maybe you'll participate with us. Stop by the House of Rose blog.com. And, um, you know, every Wednesday, Mandy's doing the hosting of Stop and Smell the Roses. So.